guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I am a professional ballerina and content creator. Today you're getting Ballet Becca, obviously, as you can see, she's in the leotard, the hair's up, because I am doing a, a better version of my leotard collection. I got in a little bit of trouble last time with you guys because I didn't try every single one of them on. Um, now the reason I didn't do that is because I would be there for hours um, and no one would want to watch that. However, I have broken it down um, into a few different brands at a time and I'll do maybe a two or three part series of the entire collection. I also missed out a couple of leotards that were at work or in the wash last time so it's a good opportunity to get those in as well. And so today... This is what we're looking at. I don't know how many here exactly, but I put in my Yumikos, my solo dance wears, my blocks, and then a couple on the end. And I'll try and categorize each video that I do like that. And I'll try them all on. You're welcome. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. This one is the Nelly from Solo Dancewear in medium. As you can see, it's a little big on me. I do prefer leotards larger, so they're more comfortable, but I have sewn the straps down on the back. I love the colors on this one. It's so comfortable and it's full front lined. Um, as you'll tell, I love a ruche. It's got the label there on the side and yeah, love it. This one is the Polina from Solo Dancewear. This is actually a small and if I bought this style again, I would go up a size. It's very, you know, sailor vibes. The, the mesh on the back is actually like a stripe and the front is kind of like a denim look almost. There's not much wiggle room on the hip. Um, that's why I would go a size up. This one is my absolute favorite leotard. This is the Kaleidoscope from Solo Dancewear. It's a relatively new one for me. And I'm not normally a fan of long sleeves, but I do love this one. It's got this dot mesh material on the sleeves in the back, which makes it really breathable. You can zip it up. I normally wear it open. Super unique. It's front lined. And yeah, it looks like a video game, but I love this one. Now into Yumiko's. This is the Julia um, style from Yumiko. As you can see there, there's not much wiggle room on the hip as well. I know you can get a higher leg line, but most people will have them the same. It doesn't make that much of a difference. This is a medium. It's really flattering on the back. And I do love a halter neck and this one is adjustable. So at least you can gauge how tight you want it. Cute. This is the Cora cut from Yumiko. It's also a medium, but there's much more space in this one than other mediums I've found. It's completely front lined. I like the front more than the back, I, um, I like the zip and I think it flatters the collarbones really nicely and it's this dusky pink, super nice um, contrast to the blue trim. Next up we have the Kate from Yumiko, excuse my tights they're bunched up underneath, I would normally wear my tights on top so that's never an issue for me. It's a very low back so if you do wear your tights underneath it's not the most practical but I do love how exposed the back is on this. This is a small and again I probably might go up a size on that. There's not much wriggle room there on the hip but it's a very flattering fit. This is the Alicia from Yumiko. This is a small I believe and this is my favourite cut from Yumiko definitely. This was the first one I designed myself so I went a bit nuts with the colours. I think it kind of works. It doesn't wash too well together because the fuchsia trim does bleed a little bit into that pale pink on the top but it's a really really cute fit and I do love wear this one a lot. This one is a wear moi, very ballerina vibes. This is actually a small but it fits perfectly with the tank strap. It's got a ruche on the front, which I love. Fits really nicely in the back. It's got that Wear Moi logo on the back there in the center, um, fully front lined. And yeah, this is a really good staple leotard. Super comfortable, super ballerina vibes. This one is also a Wear Moi. This is actually a large, which again, is a little big, but therefore so comfy, so I don't even mind. 
it has this button up at the back um, it gapes a little bit at the front as you can see there but I would also never I don't wear this buttoned up I open it up and it's also got that Wemar logo on the back so yeah this is the buttons on the back now we're into the blocks this is a really nice staple black leotard with that cute butterfly detailing on the sides that really nips in the waist so this is the back and it's got that mesh panel there and this curved panelling on the back and the front really nips in your waist so it's super flattering sits really nicely in the back it's actually got also a much higher front which is also good with girls with bigger boobies i don't obviously as you can see this block one is actually a two-in-one it's reversible so i'll show you the other side in a minute so great if you're on a budget just need to tuck my tights in there they did a range of these patterns in different cuts of leotards, which is great. This one is kind of, you know, swimsuit sporty vibes. Um, super cute. Brolock have really improved on their fit of the their leotards. They used to gape in the in the back there. But it's kind of a black and white slash floral pattern, quite contemporary and cute. And then this is the underside or the other side black very you know basic but good for students I think if you need a black one for school yeah this is another block one this is a medium I wear this leotard so much um, great cut on the leg I love the back it does up at the top with this clasp I actually often wear this open as in I always wear this open um, as I like most my leotards and yeah I just think it's so cute the mesh on the front is really flattering across the collarbones with this striped detailing it's almost got a wet look to some of the panelling this one is so cute but it is way too small for me this label says a size 4 so god knows what size that is this is a Sancha and yeah so if it was the right size it would be so cute I just don't wear it ever because of the the fit um cute ruche here on the front i like the mesh detailing very simple but super pretty the mesh is actually striped but then it overlaps and makes this checkered pattern so nice this one is a barretto and it's in a medium slash tall which insinuates i don't know the brand very well but it insinuates that they do tall tall leotards too which is really cool very basic very cute ruche on the front really flattering love the color if i'm feeling like i need a bit of a brighter day this one is a vivgeo i think that's how you say it i hope so this one was actually given to me by a friend when she retired i always used to borrow this leotard we called it the chanel leotard it's bus lined with this like shiny sparkly mesh across the top um, I always wear this open again I've done the clasp up for your benefit it has seen better days it's starting to fall apart there in the middle of the back but it's so cute thank you miss Amy Bale for this one so I hope you enjoyed that um, quite a few I'll try and give as many details as I can my biggest issue with most of them is you know just sizing I'm just so fussy on my sizing I'm so fussy about being comfortable but I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got some inspiration. I will have everything that is still available linked down below. There may be some affiliate links in there, but they will be marked with an asterisk. And all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Please like and subscribe if you did like this and comment down below your favorite of the ones I just tried on. Thanks so much guys, ciao.